Okay, Lenovo Tab M8 third generation, just in case that you are struggling with your uh, Lenovo Tab that it doesn't uh, turn on properly. Let's go really quick and um, I'm going to show you one step that it's probably going to help you a lot to fix this problem. So uh, when your tablet is on the Lenovo ta uh, logo, just press the power key for up to 20 seconds when the screen goes off and you want to do the following steps. So remember to press the power key for up to 20 seconds. Uh, the screen has to go off and uh, we're going to press and hold the uh, volume keys and the power keys as, as if you were to do a hard reset, but this is not a hard reset. Okay, so and just in case that your tablet it doesn't turn off, but it only uh, restarts when you press the power key for 20 seconds, then um, as soon as your screen goes off before the uh, tab, Lenovo tab um, to vibrates to power on, immediately press the volume up, volume down, and the power key. Hold those three buttons together, and as soon as the tablet vibrates to restart, just uh, release immediately the three uh, buttons. Okay, but now the tablet allows us to power off, so now we can uh, press properly. Just take your time and make sure that you press the volume uh, up, volume down, and power key properly. And as soon as the uh, tablet vibrates or the logo appears, release the three buttons. Okay, then you're going to go from there. Okay, now release the three buttons. Okay, just in case that you are on fast boot. Okay, so what I, I did on fast boot, just in case that you get that, but I am pretty sure that you're going to get this screen. Okay, uh, you're going to press, if you got the fast boot, just press the volume down and power key for three, I mean, for five seconds. And then on the sixth second, just press the volume up. Uh, continue holding these two uh, keys. So you're ending uh, pressing the three buttons together. Okay, and then your tablet will uh, reboot and then power off and start um, the same process that we did at the beginning of this video. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you're, gonna, you're not going to get fast boot, so you're going to get this screen. So when you are in this screen, um, press the volume down, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight times the screen and then press the power key and your tablet will start uh, the process to try to uh, calibrate the motherboard, uh, delete all cache data, and, and basically helps to your system to um, uh, remove any any um, unwanted files that because when you download big, um, videos or games or uh, you download music and things like that. A lot of information get um, stored in your system, and sometimes we fail to reboot the devices like tablet or any smartphone, and that's when um, your motherboard has uh, a lot of information, and that's why it doesn't work properly. So now um, you are on reboot system now. So for now, just press the power key, and your your tablet will start to uh, reboot. Okay, and um, And just in case uh, you persist the same problem, just power down the uh, uh, tablet and repeat this process up to like five or ten times. And that also will help a lot to calibrate the motherboard. And if after 20 times or 20 attempts it didn't help a lot, at all, then uh, unfortunately we have to do a hard reset. Okay, so to do the hard reset, it is the same process that we went to at the beginning of the video. So just power down the, the tablet, press volume up and um, volume down and power. And uh, release when the Lenovo logo appears. And just wait for a few seconds and we're gonna, we're gonna get the same recovery menu on the screen. So now we're gonna press one, two, three, four, 
five, okay? Five, five times the volume down, we wanna highlight wipe data factory reset. So at this point, basically it's a factory reset on your tablet, okay? Uh, so go ahead and re remove the um, external mem memory card and um, you're gonna use your same Google account associated with the tablet after the factory reset. So basically you're gonna delete all the information in system in the internal memory. So all your pictures, videos, contacts, that anything that is stored in the internal memory will remove or will be delete. Uh, I am pretty sure that you did a backup with your Google account. So with the same Google account, you will be able to retrieve your pictures, videos, contacts, any um, downloaded applications. And if you buy any uh, application, you will be able to restore it. So don't, you don't lose anything about that. Um, okay, so remember to remove the external memory card. And yeah, I think that I covered all the information. And if you are ready and you agree with this, make sure that you know your password from your Google associated with the tablet. Uh, to make sure, just go to a computer or any device that you haven't logged in to you with your uh, uh, Gmail. And just to make sure that you have the right um, password, okay? Because I have many, many comments saying that they are pretty sure that they, the password, it is what they, um, is associated with the email address, but it's somehow the system, uh, it don't recognize them. But that's, I am a hundred percent that if you have the right password for the right email address, then there's no way, there's no way that, uh, you won't be, you won't, Google won't accept the password. Okay. So make sure that you go and make sure that you have the right password. Right, so now, um, uh, saying that, press the power key to say, okay, we wipe data factory reset and um, volume down to uh, help factory data reset. And now we're gonna reset our tablet, okay? So uh, at the bottom of the screen is something is working there and data wipe complete. Now reboot system now is automatically highlighted. So just press the power key to restart the tablet, okay? so. There you go. So now, um, basically, uh, hopefully, and I hope, and I really hope that this will help a lot to fix your tablet or your device in case that the screen get frozen. And and just um, wait for the system to uh, properly reboot. It wanna take us to the initial setup screen. So on this screen. Usually it, it shouldn't take longer than eight minutes. Okay. So if it takes longer, longer than eight minutes to take us to the initial setup screen, then that means that the same problem persists. So and the same thing. And I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't have any other, um, option than power down the tablet and, and repeat the hard reset process. Okay. Um, and you can go back and run graphic test and then data factory reset and uh, some something in short, any of those should help your tablet to work properly. Okay, so just uh, let's give a time, no more than eight minutes uh, for the tablet to get, take us to the initial scratch screen. And if it takes longer than that, then just long press the power key or 20 seconds and power down the tablet and repeat the, the hard reset. Uh, procedure okay and um, so I'm just I want to wait the tablet to take us to the initial setup screen okay so now we are on the initial setup screen English United States just if you need to learn any other languages just touch the arrow there and will open any other language available for your tablet and now touch the next screen uh, we're gonna have to uh, register a Wi-Fi. You want to continue with data or just set up offline this tablet and this allow me to do so. So that's awesome. Um, like I said, but we can, you can enter the same email address associated with the tablet before the hard reset uh, started. And then you will be able to retrieve any information such as uh, touch uh, your uh, time zone and um, you can change the month here. And the day said okay. Uh, time you can switch time is different. And now touch okay to save. Uh, next to continue with Google services, I highly recommend you to leave as it is. 
and uh, protect your tablet you can set up a screen lock now or you can skip this anyway you can do it when once you get to the home screen on settings anything else navigation gesture if you want to navigate with a gesture or buttons you can choose from here um, and this is a little video you're going to show you how to do the gestures to move your screen or you can touch here to set um, buttons at the bottom of the screen so touch finish when you are ready anything else finish device setup okay and uh, will be now you have um navigation screen with um, buttons instead of uh gesture but if you like gesture just leave at least as it is okay all right thanks so much for choosing my video i hope this uh, tutorials uh, help you somehow and let me know in comment if you have any questions please subscribe to the channel and underneath of this video you can leave some tips on if you if this video was helpful to you it is a thanks icon underneath of this video just you can donate anything okay thanks so much and uh, subscribe